Question four is another slope question. Um, in this case, there's two conditions. In part A, we're dealing with a frictionless uh, surface. So the, there's only three forces acting on the block. There's the force, that's 36 newtons, that's pulling it up. Um, and it's pulling it against friction, I mean, against gravity. Um, and again, we have this same triangle. Um, I will say the triangle is the same every time there's a slope problem. So I will say it again, uh, get to know this triangle. Um, FGX, straight down, it's the hypotenuse of the triangle. And FGY and FGX add together and are perpendicular to each other and form this triangle. Um, the angle in there is 24, same as the um, angle that is given to you. And if you solve that triangle, you'll see in the green and the orange, you can find the value of FGX and FGY. So for the first one, in when there's no acceleration, um, all we have is over here, we have um, uh, the two forces acting along the slope. The force that's applied, 36 newtons, minus FGX, which I calculated up there. Oh, yeah, up there. Um, and I get a number, um, a value. And then I'm dividing those two by 5.5 gives you the answer of 2.56. In part B, we do have to consider acceleration. I mean, we do have to consider kinetic friction. So this is the new free body diagram. Again, the same triangle with FGY and FGX adding up to give FG. Um, so we're going to use this triangle. And so now there's three forces along the plane, right? There's the force pulling up, there's the force of friction opposing the motion, and then there's the x component, that green vector, minus um, also opposing the motion. So we get this equation, which is for this problem, is ma equals the force minus the force of friction minus the x component of gravity. Um, how do we find the force of friction? Well, we do it over here. And the force of friction is mu fn. That's the formula you know. Um, and then in this case, I kind of do it up here. You need to know what fn is. How do we find fn? Well, now we have to look, since fn is perpendicular to the slope, we have to look at perpendicular. And remember, perpendicular, a is zero. It's not floating off the slope. It's not smashing into the slope. So its acceleration in the, ver in the perpendicular direction is zero. So the net forces are zero. And therefore, the only two forces, Fn and Fgy, have to be equal to each other. So we know that Fgy is the same as Fn. So down here again, we plug in the value. So mu Fn, well, I know that Fgy is equal to Fn. So I plug in Fgy. And then since I already solved that orange um, up here, sorry, there's a lot of moving here. Since I already solved that, I just plug it in for Ff. Now, FF goes back into this original equation, and we know everything. We know the force is 36, we now know friction is 5.9, and we know that the x component of gravity, we already calculated that. So dividing all that by 5.5 gives you the new acceleration of 1.49.